So you remember when we were just talking moments ago, you and I, about what it would be like to move on to Candy Cane Lane? Let's say you're out of province and you have absolutely no idea about this major seasonal institutional in the sense of like you go every year, it puts you in the spirit of Christmas event called Candy Cane Lane. Yeah. And you just kind of move to Edmonton in September and nobody tells you anything about Candy Cane Lane. You're used to maybe around Christmas putting up three, four, five, six strands of lights. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what happened to this lovely lady back there. Her and her husband actually moved here and had no idea about it. And then, of course, got a notice about some parking things that would be happening in December. I want to run and introduce you to my friend. And by the way, nice to meet you. Beautiful home. This is your first Christmas here in Edmonton, so welcome to Edmonton. Thank you very much. I have to ask, um, you moved here and you had no idea about Candy Cane Lane. No idea. No, we purchased the home and someone said, oh, you bought a house on Candy Cane Lane and we had no idea what that meant. You're like, eh? No, it's well, 148th Street. <laughs> yeah, so we talked to our neighbors and they said it was a really great event that happens in December on this street and Christmas spirit and so from what we've seen so far it's been really great. Now here's the super super duper like historical geeky side of me. I love this. You actually found in your garage rafters pieces um, uh, from yeah. the original homeowners. They, yeah. These are actually from the, the very first but few. Around the uh, mid 50s is when we can place it. So yeah and they look very original. We had to bring them out and that give, is give them a new life. So cool. A new life and a new family here. Yeah. Uh, this is awesome. And uh, I'll tell you what, is it something that you're going to, much like we just heard from Kim, are you going to continue to sort of add to the the, the, the yes. luminaires? Yeah, exactly. You know, every year you, you'll put a couple new pieces in and build it up over the years. So we're just getting started now. But Shaw came by and put the lights in the trees for us. They and did? Yeah. Awesome. They did. Well, there you go. Yeah, so it was really great. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Edmonton. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of this. Oh, she's asked Doug. We have have to give a shout. I don't know if Doug is watching right now, but of course she's connected, man. And she went over and she said, yo, Doug, give me some lights. And of course, Doug has just joined houses slowly turning their lights on this morning. Um, and if you turn around over there, there's a beautiful gingerbread. That's where we're going to be headed next across the street. But there's a woman as we go to break. It's Tamison, no stranger to our fabulous show. Ba -ba -da. Love to see you, Tamison. Always a pleasure this early in the morning. By the way, <laughs> oh yeah, beastie boys. Mm -hmm. Oh, You're nice. wearing a beastie boy out. <laughs> <laughs> um, quickly, there is a two huge vats behind you that need to be filled up. Yes, that's correct. We have bins, green bins down the lane and that we ask people to bring a non-perishable food item down. To please donate to us. We have volunteers in a truck out every night to pick up the, that food, those food items. So you don't have to worry about it. We are out every night picking every up. Night. And you're not going anywhere. You're staying here all morning with me. We're not going anywhere. We're going to make sure all these lights are on so you can see. We'll be back more from Candy Cane Lane this morning. It's beautiful. And if you're looking for something to get you in that spirit, if you're not yet in the spirit, Candy Cane Lane is the place to breathe and make sure you bring something for the Edmonton Food Bank. We will be back after this. So baby, let's go take a stroll down to Candy Cane. 